Jaipur, often referred to as the Pink City, is a testament to the royal heritage of Rajasthan, known for its magnificent palaces, vibrant bazaars, and imposing fort. But most importantly, it is a treasure trove of many handicrafts. One such handicraft is Jaipur Blue Pottery. Blue pottery is an ancient art form which originated from Mongol artisans who combined Chinese glazing technology with Persian decorative motifs. The name blue pottery comes from the prominent use of blue oxide to create intricate patterns and designs. The designs are inspired from nature and the pottery is adorned profusely with animals, birds and flowers with a hint of Persian geometric design. Although it arrived in India with the Mughals in the 14th century, the art flourished in 1727 by Raja Savai Jai Singh II who invited skilled craftsmen from the northwest part of Asia to flourish in this art. The most distinctive feature of this pottery is that it is a no-clay pottery. Hence, there are no chances of developing cracks. First, a dough is prepared using powdered mixture of 80% cords, powdered glass, multani sand, gum, rock salt and borax. It is then flattened into a smooth pancake shape with a traditional wooden tool called thepai. The dough is set in molds, its edges are trimmed with knives and the insides are filled with ash so that no accidental deformation happens. It is then left to dry for a day. Once the mold is set, the ash is removed and the rough edges of the product are smoothened by rubbing it on the stone base and then polished manually with sandpaper. A second round of coating is then done. This time, the product is dipped in the slurry prepared by mixing quartz powder, powdered glass, maida and water. Once it is dried, the items are hand painted by the artisans with fine hairbrush. First, the pattern is outlined and then colors are filled into it. The color palette is limited to blue, green and yellow. They are primarily a mixture of oxides. Blue is derived from cobalt oxide and green from copper oxide. After the paint is dried, the product is dipped in a special glaze mixture and left to dry. Finally. The products are stacked inside the kiln, one on top of the other, separated by patia and nali. The stacking is done with utmost care so that no two products stick to each other. The temperature goes up to 800 to 850 degrees Celsius. The firing process takes almost 4 to 5 hours. Once the kiln is cooled, it is opened and the products are taken out and checked. The final products are cleaned and are packed for the market. Although the art of blue pottery is flourishing today, it had all but vanished until the 1950s when the joint efforts of painter and muralist Kripa Singh Shekhawat and his patrons Gayatri Devi and Kamla Devi Chattyopadhyay revived the art. As of today, blue pottery was given a GI status in India. It is an industry that provides livelihood to many craftsmen, from elegant bowls and pots to captivating decorative plates and wall hangings. The range of blue pottery products beckons designers and home owners to infuse their spaces with the charm of this extraordinary art form. From the interiors of city palace to luxury resorts, blue pottery ornamentation has found its place in contemporary interior design globally.